Nerd Morning, everyone. My name is Jeremy Miller, and today on the Nerd Morning Show, I'm going to be talking about comics as a medium. So, when we think of comics, oftentimes people think of this the superhero versus the supervillain, um, fight to the death or to prison or to submission or whatever it is, um, type of story. And I think that there's a lot of merit to that type of superhero mythos experience because the primary uh, producers of comics, both Marvel and DC, are superhero-centric type presses. They write and produce and create superhero stories, but that is not the only thing that a comic constitutes. And so I think when we have something that they say, oh, it's very comic booky," what they really mean is, oh, that feels like it's in the superhero genre, but I don't really have a word to describe that, so I'm going to call it comic book, even though that's a medium and not a genre. Setting that aside, comics are a medium, and in that medium we have various genres that we're able to explore and tell stories of. So um, those genres are superheroes, I've seen space odysseys, I've seen romances, I've seen uh, fantasy tales, I've seen a whole slew of various types of stories, anything that you can think of, um, certainly horror, um, military, um, all these types of stories are able to be expressed and told inside of the visual medium of a comic. Often, and most primarily in the last 100 years, we've seen comics being told in comic book form in an issue. And an issue is around 22 to 24 pages long and happen on various um, rates. Maybe it's uh, every two weeks, monthly, every two months. They try to release them out on some type of schedule. And then um, we've also seen that in the last 50 years or so that we've had these collection books or graphic novels where they maybe put some of those stories all together or that stories themselves have come out um, in a self-contained form from the very beginning. And these are all graphic novels, those bigger books. Uh, again, those are all ways that we've been able to see the medium being manifest into a final product, but the medium itself is how that story is being constructed. So in a other medium or form of art, we have a painting. And a painting can be created in various ways. You could have it as a digital medium where someone is digitally painting. You could have someone where they're painting in acrylic, and that could be the medium, or the oil paintings, or watercolor. Each of those mediums are using different type of tools in order to create an image. And the same thing is that we have different ways that we can tell a story um, via the different mediums of storytelling. And we have these as they're created um, in like writing of prose. And that's how you create a novel or a short story or a novelette. You can have poetry and that's a construction of those words in a different way. And that it tells a story and it becomes a, it's a poem. And we can also have uh, sequential images and we see sequential images that are put on top of one another in a sequence that makes a moving picture, and thus we get uh, movies. And we can have these uh, images that are maybe broken apart, and they're seen in a sequence of time. So we look across through space at these different images as we do creating panels in a comic book. And this is a unique type of experience because we see one image here, and the next image here, and the next image here, so we have sequential images. And a comic is a story that is told through sequ sequential images. And these images are of a pictorial nature because I guess you could say the words on a page are images that are being translated and processed in our minds in a sequence. And that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about pictorial images that come in what we call panels. Panels are placed in the frame um, of the canvas, often inside of a page, and they're put, they're put um, in juxtaposition of themselves one after the other. That is what constitutes a comic. So take the newspaper, 
I sometimes get the newspaper from my grandmother, who really likes looking through kind of the news there. That's where she still continues to get some of her news source and gives me the Sunday fun funnies. So those, uh, they will have maybe reruns of Garfield or other type of Sunday paper comic strips. And a comic strip certainly is a comic if it has multiple images. So you'll have some of those like political gags, I think I see this often, or sometimes uh, there's a, a series called Family Circus, and Family Circus will sometimes have a sequence of images, but sometimes they'll have one single image. And a single image standing alone by itself is not a comic, even if it's written in a cartoon uh, style image with a word balloon, it still is not a comic. It may have some of those cartoon elements that are common inside of a comic, but they itself isn't. It's kind of like if you took one still um, from a movie, that image isn't a movie, it's a, um, a single frame from a movie. And really, I think some of those single images that we see from the funnies are maybe most comparable to what I would say with the common modern vernacular as a meme. It's a meme. That's a single image with some text that has, you know, a certain reaction, makes you funny, m makes you laugh, whatever. And, um, but if you had a couple of those images in sequence, and thus they're in juxtaposition, juxtaposition of each other, going in uh, to tell that little bit of a story, even if it's Garfield stealing some food, and that's all it says in those like three or four images, that is a comic because it has a sequence. And that's an important distinction, distinction inside of what makes a comic a comic. And so you don't have to necessarily be inside of a book in order to be a comic. You also don't have to have a cartoony type style. We've seen tons of different styles of art. Um, there um, certainly can be drawn uh, in order to be able to be a comic. But also, I, I have seen uh, photographs, and they've made comics via that. You have digital imaging, um, as well as uh, the pen and ink and then colors, um, traditional format style. I have even seen comics that were done in paintings, and they created those that way, and then put them in the sequence in order to be able to tell that story. And so I think we think of a particular look for a comic, and there may be reasons why we see those, but again, those aren't what necessarily constitute what a comic is. The comic is m defined based off of the sequential pictorial images that are being told um, to tell a story, and that is really what creates a comic book. So I think that's a really interesting way to be able to distinguish that medium outside of some of the other things that we may be able to associate and create with that idea. And from there, we're able to expand those ideas and look at different concepts like why do we create comics in this particular way? Why are things drawn um, instead of maybe done in photographs or etc.? Like there's certainly a lot of other things to be able to uh, take apart in why we see things the way we see them most commonly. But uh, I think kind of that foundational definition is a starting point for anyone who is interested in understanding comics, uh, certainly creating comics, um, and being a fan of comics as an art form. So hopefully that was an interesting explanation, made somewhat sense for you, and let me know what your thoughts are, your comments below, that'd be great, and we'll see you guys next time for another episode.